Today we're gonna to take a look at a very powerful magnification and speech software. Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to The Blind Life where I help you learn how to live your best blind life. Yes, today we are taking a look at Supernova brought to us by the company Dolphin based in the UK. Supernova is a, an extremely powerful magnification and speech plus some other things software available for windows uh, its closest competitor i guess you could say would be zoom text which tends to be a very popular software but for a lot of reasons which we'll go into throughout the video uh, supernova might be a better option for a lot of people before we check out supernova a huge thank you to my friends at irie at for sponsoring this video irie at the u.s distributor for supernova i'll have more information about them and how to get the program at the end of the video i'm going to try to not make it a super long video uh, but try to stick it out to the end and you'll get that information then now speaking of a long video Supernova is incredibly powerful, has a ton of features, a ton of customizable options. It's impossible, it's gonna be impossible for me to cover everything in this video. Uh, it would be like an hour long video and nobody wants to watch an hour long video. So if you're watching it and you're thinking, wow, this looks like a really cool program, just know that there's still a ton of stuff that it can do that I just don't have time to show. All right, on that note, I'm gonna break this video up into segments. The first segment, we're gonna be taking a look at the magnification and the other visual enhancement options that it has. The second segment is going to be focused on the speech element of the program. And the third will be featuring a bunch of the extras. So it's touchscreen support, multiple monitor support, using a camera, an external camera, to create a desktop CCTV environment with OCR text-to-speech. Yeah, <laughs> Supernova can do that too. It's just, it's a crazy powerful program. All right, so that's enough of me talking right now. Let's jump on the computer and take a look at Supernova. When you first launch Supernova, you're presented with the Supernova control panel. You're able to move this panel around and even minimize it down to your taskbar. But this gives easy, quick access to all of the Supernova features. The control panel is laid out in tabs. You have the visuals tab, which is all the magnification and screen enhancements. You have a speech tab, a braille tab, and media tab. Then each tab or each page is split up into sections also. Each section has a drop down menu that has more options and settings. Each section, you'll notice right away, has these large, very colorful, easy to recognize icons. These are all buttons that you can click, usually toggles for that particular feature. For example, if I toggle the magnifying glass here, it turns on and off magnification. Each of these options, each of these features also has a corresponding keyboard command. So for example, magnification, if I hold down the control button and use the scroll wheel, I can zoom in and zoom out. Here I have a toggle for the different magnification views and we have several to choose from. Uh, you have full screen, this is a fixed window, so the window stays in the same place and wherever I move my pointer here, it's magnified in the window. I also have a movable window, magnification window. It follows my pointer around the screen and of course I can zoom in and zoom out within that window. If I click it again, now I have a resizable magnifier window follows the pointer around, and if I increase magnification, it gets larger. Decreasing makes the window smaller. If I click the view button again, now we get into our four split screen views. So this one is magnification on the left side. I can also have magnification at the top, magnification at the right side, magnification at the bottom, and if I click it again, we're back into full screen. The enhancements section uh, has all of our different color schemes. We can also adjust our highlight colors and we can adjust how our pointer is uh, displayed. Right now you see I have a yellow pointer with a red outline. 
If I click on the pointer button here, zoom out a little bit, you'll see that there's a ton of pointers you can choose from, lots of different options, color sizes. You can even customize your own pointer. Your color schemes here, if I toggle this, it will turn on the color scheme that I've previously chosen. And I can drop down this menu here and go into color schemes to choose a bunch of different ones. There's even a section down here to customize your own color scheme. If I go to other schemes, then you get this window that pops out here that has a ton of other ones, including some of the ones we're familiar with, blue and yellow, uh, greens, reds, that sort of thing. The highlight, once again, you can change the highlight color, but you also have the option to turn on and off these crosshairs that follow your pointer around. So if you're someone that tends to lose your pointer, you can turn these on so that anytime you move the pointer, the crosshairs pop up and it will guide you back to your mouse pointer. And you can change the colors of those as well. We have a couple options here in our modes. The first one is line view. This one will basically reformat text and put it into a single line of text. That way, if you're magnified in, you don't have to keep going to the end of the text, back to the beginning, all the way to the end, uh, like a typewriter. It will just have it all in one line, make it easier to read. Document reader, we'll take a look at that in a second. You have a connect and view, which utilizes a, an external camera. So when we connect a camera here in a minute, we'll take a look at that. But uh, I'll do a demo of the document reader. Basically, this will take a section of text and put it into a standalone document program and read it out loud to you. So if I'm in, uh, like I'm in my website here and I've got this section of text I want to read, I just click on the document reader. Now I can increase or decrease the size of the text if I want. If I press the play or the space bar here, it will start to read it for me. From the visually impaired perspective, I enjoy sharing tips and tricks of navigating life with low vision. And then finally, there's a help section here that even has some tutorials for Supernova. Next, we can go to speech tab. If I want to turn on and off speech, I can just toggle that on. Speech checked. And the nice thing about Supernova's speech is you can customize it to read out as much or as little as you want. Right now, I've got it set pretty high. So if I were to click on my desktop here. Desktop, list view, Supernova 20.01 Mac and screen reader on selected 18 of 21. It's gonna read out a lot of information. Uh, I also have a hover turned on. So if I hover over this shortcut here, this text document. Tip type, text document size, 529 bright state modified. And of course I have keyboard controls too. I can control everything with the keyboard. SWC2 PDSC0 photo shoot upcoming video karate easy reader set 2000. I can also adjust the volume of the speech. I can increase or decrease the speed of the reading. You can also, in the drop-down, you can choose a couple different languages and voices. Here in Verbosity, there is a ton of customizable options for the how it reads out text, characters, general announcements. You can customize a lot of this. So for the sake of time, I'm not really gonna get into this right now. And then in Mode, you have Read From Here. It's basically like the document reader, except it won't put you into a standalone program. It just, like it says, just reads from there. Once again, we're in the website here, and if I click Read From Here. Modes Group. The Blind Life Home My Story Work With Me Videos Merch Contact Sam CV Holding His Mobility K9 Make. If we go into the Braille tab here, we have a ton of options for using Supernova connected to a refreshable Braille display. Then the last tab here is Media. And this is also really cool. You have a lot of media options included in Supernova. You've got scan and read here, which we'll take a look at later when we connect a camera. You've got a books library, and you even have the ability to connect RSS feeds, radio stations, and podcasts. 
So really cool to see all these extra features included. Supernova does fully support touch screens and even has a special control bar down at the bottom for touch screens. The way you turn it on is tap with three fingers. Your control bar pops up. You have your most used operations here like magnification. I can zoom in and zoom out. Three fingers gets rid of the toolbar at the bottom. One thing I love about the touchscreen though is you have pinch to zoom and one finger moves the screen around. And it even has some physics built in so you can kind of throw, slide it around like that. Pinch to zoom in, zoom out. Three finger tap to bring up the bar again. If you want your control panel, you can click the icon over here, brings up your control panel. Then you even have some reading options over here. This is the read everything button. So if I click that. Photo shoot lively setup x86 reading finish. And you can turn your speech on and off with this button here. Speech on. FFTXT. Okay, I've attached a camera. This is an IPVO camera. This camera is perfect for desktop applications like this. This camera can be purchased when you buy the Supernova software. I'm also using the Dolphin keyboard. This keyboard has programmable buttons. A lot of these buttons are already programmed to work with Supernova. Like if I click this one here, it brings up, brings up the control panel. I can use the magnification buttons here to zoom in, zoom out. I can turn off, turn on and off speech. This keyboard is also high contrast and large print. Now that we have a camera connected, we can check out the connect and view option here on the magnification page. If I click on the large camera icon, we get this split view where our camera is up here at the top half of the screen. Desktop is down at the bottom half of the screen. We have these icons up here at the top. They give us some options we can try. First, let's put something under here that maybe we want to read. This is just a flyer that I got in the mail and uh, maybe I want to see if this is going to be something important or if it's junk mail that I can get rid of. We can zoom in and zoom out by clicking on the plus and minus buttons up here. We can also use the same keyboard shortcut here to zoom in and zoom out, which is much easier than clicking the buttons, I think. If we needed to rotate the image, we could click this button to rotate. If we wanted to use a particular color scheme, we could do that. Maybe the inverted color scheme, scheme might work better for us. We can cycle through those. This icon here looks like a lock is actually a freeze frame. So you see I can move the image around, but if I click this and it goes red, now the image is frozen. Now that's just a freeze frame. It's not actually taking a picture. If I wanted to take a picture and save a picture of this document, I could click the camera and we just took a picture and that's saved in our gallery. I'll come back to the scan one here in a second, but perhaps we wanted to choose a different view. We have several views available here. This is a split screen where our desktop is on the right side, our camera's on the left. Maybe I want our camera at the bottom here and I want the desktop up at the top. We could do that. Now we've got camera on the right, desktop on the left. And we can also do a full screen, which can be very helpful. Say we just need to use this as a CCTV. There's an arrow all the way here at the far right and that just gets rid of all of your icons and cleans up the screen a little bit for you. You can click that arrow to bring them all back. Now let's check out the scan option here. So if I click this, we just took a picture and now we've got a split screen. We've got the image at the top and then the scanned text down here at the bottom. Press the space bar. 
Omnipro Clean 9 Mini Quills 1110 WWW I'm Bean Williter at Human 6 Spring Cleaning Services having trouble seeing the sun through your windows. You get a highlight down here as you're reading and you even have a highlight up here that shows which section of the image is being read. And then we can click on the big red X to get out of the camera view. Finally, let's take a look at multiple monitor support. Um, Supernova works really, really well with two monitors. You see that the zooming works really, really well. No problems there. If I wanted to move this window over to my other monitor, I can do that. That works. And then now I can, you know, zoom in and zoom out in this monitor without any problems. Bring that back over to here and I can interact with each monitor without any problems. Zoom in, move around over here. Once you're zoomed in, you can move the mouse around and it moves around on the monitor that your the pointer is currently active on. When you bring it over here, then you can move around on the other monitor. So, multiple monitor support check and works really well. All right guys, so that was a look at Supernova. Um, demonstration of most of its features. Remember, that's not all it can do. I didn't even touch on um, a lot of its customizable options, how you can customize the settings for different applications. So the program might be set up to be used a different way when you go into a certain application. Um, you, it also has the ability to set programmed keyboard commands from other programs. So if you have a program like JAWS that you are already very familiar with those keyboard commands, you can enable that profile in the Supernova program so that the keyboard commands will work for that as well. A couple things I wanted to touch on really quickly also, um, some standout highlights for Supernova is the dual monitor, multiple monitor support the touchscreen support, the camera support, so connecting a camera like this little IPVO camera and turning it into like a des desktop CCTV or a document scan and read situation. Uh, that's fantastic. Also, system requirements. Uh, this is only available for Windows and it has, it's a little bit easier on Windows than other similar programs. Uh, as far as memory and processor, the processor needed to run it. Um, it's not as heavy or as intensive, resource intensive as other programs. I definitely recommend checking out the Supernova website if you want a full list of the system requirements. And then another standout highlight is the support. Um, Dolphin, Dolphin is a small, smaller company. So you're gonna get much more personalized support if needed. And then, of course, the support that you'll get through the distributor. Uh, here in the U.S., Irie AT is the, the distributor, so they offer a lot of support as well. Uh, something else is Super, Supernova uses TeamViewer uh, as part of the support. So the support team, the support staff can remote into your computer and, your, and the Supernova program to help with support, diagnose problems, troubleshoot, all of that super easy got my little list of, of notes here font smoothing was another uh, highlight feature as you get up into those higher magnifications it will smooth out the edges of the font and the text to make it easier to read 30-day free trial i didn't even mention that so you can go ahead and download supernova right now and use it fully for 30 days free of charge uh, to see if it's going to be the right fit for you and then if you do decide to get it, super easy to activate it. You just put in the license key and it just activates the program. You don't have to reinstall or anything like that. Uh, something else about the license is you actually get three computers on one license or three installations of the program. So if you have a work PC and a home PC, you can put them on those two and then still have another install for another computer, uh, all under one license. You can also get it on a thumb drive installation so that you just plug your USB stick into a computer and it runs independently from that USB drive 
And then when you're done, you can take it out, take it with you, take it on vacation. You're gonna go stay at grandma's house for a week <laughs> during the summer, take your thumb drive, and then you'll have Supernova on that computer as well. The benefit also of that is that when that thumb drive isn't in the computer, there's no evidence of supernova on the computer, so someone else using it that doesn't need any kind of magnification or screen reading, they won't have to deal with something popping up. Who is this gonna be perfect for? Obviously, one of the main, it's, it's gonna be great for anybody, really, anybody that needs some kind of magnification or screen reading on a PC, uh, but ideally, it's gonna be great for students and business professionals. Um, if you are a, a counselor, uh, or a TBI or a voc rehab counselor and you work with students and professionals, employment professionals, I think you should definitely take a look at Supernova. Not only for all the things that I've mentioned already, but also the price. It's, it's actually a really good price for what you get. And with that being said, let's jump in and talk about price and availability. So this is available here in the US through Irie AT. I'll have a link in the description down below. We have three versions of the software. You have the magnifier alone, and that is 395. Then you have magnifier and speech, that is 595. And finally, magnifier and the full-blown screen reader, that is 1195. And don't forget about the accessories. You've got the Dolphin keyboard with all the programmable buttons for Supernova. And then you can also pick up the IPVO document camera. It's a 4K desktop camera. Okay guys, as always, I will have all the information listed in the description box down below. If you have any questions for me, please feel free to reach out in the comments as well as through email, sam at theblindlife.net. I'm not sure if I'll be able to answer all the questions, but I will do my best. Also, while you're down in the description, check out all the social media, check out the Discord. You can also support the channel by getting some Blind Life merchandise or becoming a member of the Blind Life. That's it for me, guys. As always, this is Sam with the Blind Life. I will see you next time.